like connects to my next down just karen blaming zach for everything but man she's sitting down holding court like she's the victim you know that even wasn't even on my list but i'm going to give that a down i'm going to give that a down sitting around holding court like oh everybody's here for me everybody's here for me and i'm the victim oh woe is me ho ho ho, ho. no you're not the victim karen you're not the victim Yes, sir. It is your boy KEB, the boss from ShifterMagazine.com, here with another episode of Shifter TV Talk, where we break down the latest in some of our favorite TV shows. And so today we're talking about last night's episode of Sisters on BET. Uh, it was episode, the season five, episode seven, uh, full of a whole bunch of drama. Man, had my emotions like all the way up and all the way down. Like I was all over the place yesterday's episode. Man. Had me all messed up, man. In my feelings yesterday. Um, so yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a, you know, it was a, it's a good episode, well written episode, but took me all over the place, people. So yeah, so for yesterday's episode, I have, I only have, I don't have one up. It was there was so much drama, man. I only have one up, and I have about like four downs from yesterday's episode. So we're gonna jump right into it. <sighs> So the first up from yesterday, Miss Lisa, man, I, I I think I've had her. I mean, the past few weeks I've had her. I think as a up every single episode. Such a good, such a good character, man. And so yesterday, the reason why she's on my my up list from yesterday, because she, well, yesterday you know we you know that her whole kumbaya experiment with Zach and Fatima and Aaron and Karen kind of fell apart. Kind of didn't. It kind of kind of fell apart. Um, you know, it didn't go as planned for her, but. You know, there was a scene after the whole, you know, the whole breakdown of of, of the meeting. You know, she had a good, a good scene with Karen where she really, was, where she was kind of talking about Aaron and said, you know, like Aaron, he's like Aaron loves you. She, you know, she acknowledged that Aaron loves you, but he's like he's too perfect. The problem with Aaron, she said, is that he's too perfect. And I think it was like we we know that, but just her her vocalizing that, I was like, yes, that's the problem with this guy. That's why I don't like him because he's too perfect. You know, and it's funny because I've been calling him Mr. Perfect for a long time, but it's only when she said it that I was like, yes, that's the problem. He's too perfect. And she said, she also said after that, she's like, she's like, she, she feels like he's hiding something. She says she feels like he's hiding something. And just her saying that, just her asking, like, I wonder if there's something he's hiding. The reason why he's acting so perfect. It was like, yes, like, when she asked that question, I was like, yes, this man is hiding something. There's something he's hiding. It could be surrounding his 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 wife's death. It could be maybe why she committed suicide. Like, did he cheat? And that caused her, that caused her to, to, to commit suicide? Like, what's going on? So just the fact that, that Miss Lisa asked that question, first of all, just identify the fact that, yo, something's wrong with this guy because he's too perfect. But also was like, what is, like, asking what is he hiding? I feel like she's about to uncover something that we have been wanting to know about this man's backstory. And I want to know because nobody's that perfect. Now, that's my only up from yesterday's episode was that, that little interaction. Aside from that, there are no ups for me. Um, not to say that not to say that the episode was trash, but you know, there was just a I think there was so much emotion in this episode that it's like for me, it's just there's a whole bunch of downs. <sighs> so yeah, my first down for yesterday's episode. I have here Zach out of pocket. Okay, so that same scene. Karen's house, they're having the big meeting, the kumbaya moment, go, kumbaya experiment gone wrong. You know, he, Zach is like, you know, there's a point, you know, and this kind of connects to another down that I have here, but you know, there's a point, you know, uh, you know, Mr. Perfect, Zach, or no, sorry, Aaron, you know, the preacher man, or as, as Miss, Miss, Miss Lisa calls him, the accountant, was just acting all perfect. He's like, oh, you know what? You know, basically, you know, acknowledge that she, you know, that he, he, she still loves Zach, but he's like, oh, I want to show you what a healthy and loving relationship is all about, all that kind of crap. Nah, like makes make, makes you want to throw up. Um, so he, you know he was, he was saying all that stuff, and so Zach kind of chimed in. He was just like he said that um, he's like didn't, didn't your ex wife off her off herself in the salon? I was like yo, like Zach, like bro, like that was harsh, man. Like that was dark. I'm like yo, I, like I don't I don't like that from Zach. 
Maybe Fatima's rubbing off on him too much. But like, yo, I like that from Zach. I was like, yo, Zach, Zach is a nice guy. Zach is one of the good ones. Zach is reformed. He's, 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 he's a good guy now. Like for him to go to that place, I was like, man, I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed in you, Zach. I expected better from you, Zach, to, 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 to go for the low blow like that. Shoot. And then after that, Aaron got all like, Aaron got all, you know, they, they end up having you know, some, you know, some tension, some friction, all that kind of stuff. Things, things started getting heated, which they should, because if I, you know, in, in Aaron's defense, that, that comment was kind of foul. So, he, you know, he deserved to get a little bit upset, right, man, Zach getting out of pocket like that, getting dark, violating him like that. Uh, that's a down. That connects to my next down. Just Karen blaming Zach for everything. Not realizing how much, like, I mean, yes, some, some things have happened to Karen. Like, you know, she's she's gotten pregnant and she had, you know, some health health issues or some questions around the health of the baby and all kind of stuff. But man, she's sitting down holding court like she's the victim. Like sitting down holding court like you, like you are the victim. You know, that even wasn't even on my list, but I'm gonna give that a down. I'm gonna give that a down. Sitting around holding court like, oh, everybody's here for me. Everybody's here for me and I'm the victim. Oh, woe is me. Ho, ho, ho. No, you're not the victim, Karen. You're not the victim. Who made you the victim? And so, yeah, you know, Karen just blaming Zach for everything. Like, and, he, and, he, and he's sitting there saying, yo, he's trying to tell her, like, look, these are all the things. Yes, I did these things, but look at all the good I've done. Look at the times I, I tried to make it right with you. And she wasn't ready to listen. So for that reason, eh, down. And she even, like, even when, when, when Fatima was trying to hold her accountable for calling her, you know, the B word. The B word, you know, bitches, whatever, calling her that word. And even, even the, the mom, the mom was like, you did that. Miss Lisa was like, you did that. And she's like, you need to apologize. And then Karen, Karen throws everybody, everybody, Karen's trying to get everybody to leave her house, trying to throw everybody out of her house. Like, bro, you need to chill, Karen, man. You need to chill. I don't know how many downs. There might, there might have been like three downs in that, that whole, that whole, that whole paragraph, that whole part right there. But anyway. Karen, uh, down for you. Oh, the next one is Q, man. Bro, the, the, the part of the show that literally had me the most, like, in my, like, emotions was friggin' Q, man. Q. Like, yo, Q? Like, the, I said la last time, like, the guy who, like, the, the fact that, that the actor playing Q is a former football player is, like, and now turned actor, I'm like, bro, like you think the athletes turn turn actors are like are kind of whack actors. Like let's be honest. Athletes turn actors aren't really like not always they don't always make the best actors. But this guy who played Q had me in my emotions yesterday. Like had a bunch of people up up in Maurice's house again. Even before it was like one one girl. Now he has a whole bunch of people doing drugs in the house, stealing the microwave, eating food. And then on top of that, Q has the right. To go and steal, to go steal Calvin's golf clubs that he got from his dead father and sells them to get drugs. And has the right to laugh in this man's face. Has the right to laugh in this man's face. Has the right to call him a, to say, yo, you're soft. You're a bitch. Wow. I said, yo, I. I thought Cal I, I I thought for sure, yo, know, this is the episode where Calvin gets justice. There's no way. There's no way this man can sit there and 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 the golf clubs you got from your dead father. This man sold them. I said there's no way. This is the episode where Calvin gets justice. This man practiced restraint. I mean, yo, we gotta commend Calvin for practicing that level of restraint. Because the average dude would have been like, yo. The one golf club or so that he left would have been like in this man's head. But anyway, yeah, man, I so I commend Calvin for that. I think nobody would have blamed this guy for doing something, doing something drastic. But he will get justice. This story has to be closed. It has to be a, 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 a loop, you know what I'm saying, to this storyline. So Calvin will get justice. Something's going to happen. He will get even. And Q will have his day. He has to. He has to. 
So anyway, that being said, the way that Q had me angry after last night, last night's episode, had me on Twitter. I was on Twitter last night. I was like, yo, this man Q needs to get punched in the face. So the way this had I had my emotions going up and down. Ah, you get a down Q. And last but not least, Danny. Sad story. Sad story, man. So she's with her, you know, the married man that she met in the airport there. Um, you know, they're, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to have a little moment, a little intimate moment. We, we learned that this man's trash in the, in the bedroom. We learned that this man, he, he, he doesn't know what he's doing in the bedroom. And we also learned that he has, you know, he has a little bit of a micro penis. Um, and so, yeah, they, you know, they're, they, you know she, she ends up kicking him out and all kind of stuff. You know, she, he, you know, he calls her the B word, all that kind of stuff. And they have this thing. To, and then finally, in the end, this man hits Danny. Hits Danny. You know, some people would say, you know, little dick energy. But that that's that's what it was. Overcompensate. You can see that, you know, this man has issues. And it probably comes from the fact that, you know, he's not very well in doubt. So yeah, man, it was sad, man, to watch Danny go through that. Yo, she violated him though, man. She went in like she's been she's been going on some tirades lately against Q, against this guy. Yo, her 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 tongue's been sharp lately. Her tongue's been sharp. She was cutting this man down, and then he retaliated with bro. And the whole time I was like, bro, I can't wait for Preston to come for this guy. I can't wait for Preston to come for this man. I can't wait. Next episode, they need to call. First of all, while well, she's gonna talk to Andy as a lawyer. The first thing you do is call the police and then call Preston. It's unfortunate that out of this situation, she might realize how much she needs that guy and how much of a good, strong man he is. When you see people like that, like these grown men that are really little boys, it really shows you that someone like Preston is a grown man and she needs him in his in her life. And this may be the thing that brings him back in the picture. So anyway, that's it. Those are my ups and downs from this episode. Uh, what else happened this episode? There's a few things. That, oh, yes. Andy, you know, Gary came over to Andy's house. Went through his jacket, saw the papers about him trying to make a move on Robin's company. And you know for sure that this girl, she's, well, she's about to snitch on Gary. She's about to snitch on Gary. She, yo, this is her opportunity to get back in the good books with 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 uh, with Robin. She's about to snitch on Gary and tell Robin the whole thing. More drama, man. What else happened this episode? There was that. There was no Eva Marcel unless I was like in the bathroom or something. There was no Eva Marcel. No, no, no crossover. All the Queen's men, Madam, all that stuff. None of that this episode. Not that that we needed every single episode. Um. No, I mean, still no Sabrina, still no Maurice. Yo, yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on with Maurice though? Because people are talking about like, like the girls are talking about Sabrina, but who's talking about Maurice, man? No one's trying to help. No, no one's trying to help Maurice. They're not trying to help Sabrina. Who's trying to help Maurice? Like, what's going on there? What's going on? Like, why haven't we seen this man yet? It's not a down. It's not a down for me yet. But man, I, I'm getting the feeling that we're not going to see him at all this episode I, I, or this season. I, I think we're either going to see him on the very last episode of this season, or if it's like the the mid the mid mark of the season, I think we're going to we either see him on the very last episode before the break, or we're not seeing him at all, which might get the fan base in an uproar. But man, like, where is this guy? Like, why haven't we seen him yet? I don't know. It's interesting, man. We, bro, no Sabrina and no thing, no bio. Like this, bro. There's so many storyline. This, the storyline. This whole story. That that whole storyline is still so open. I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Shifter TV Talk. Once again, it's your boy Key B, the boss from ShifterMagazine.com. I'm out. Peace.